Welcome to this video. How to define various types of anisotropic elastic materials in Abaca software. Please keep watching to find out how to define anisotropic, monoclinic, orthotropic and transversely isotropic materials in Abacus. Before defining and assigning an anisotropic behavior to a part it is important to define material orientation for the part. Imagine that the X direction of the material is oriented in the Z direction of this model, so we need to create a datum coordinate system and assign it to the part. The origin is 0, 0, and 0. Then we show the x direction of the material which is 0, 0, and 1. Next we enter 1, 0, and 0 as a point in xy plane. In the next step we assign this orientation to the part. Please note that to define an anisotropic material, assigning the material orientation is necessary in abacus. To create an elastic material, we go through, create material, mechanical, elasticity, and elastic. To create an isotropic material, we can choose isotropic and enter Young modulus and Poisson ratio. For example, these are properties of steel. The next three options are used to define an orthotropic or transversely isotropic material. To find out everything about anisotropic materials, please watch our previous video. By this option we can define an orthotropic material by directly inserting its nine engineering constants. As an example this table shows constants of a carbon epoxy composite. At first, we enter three different young moduli in three directions, then Poisson ratios in three planes, and finally shear moduli in three planes. This method can also be used to insert material constants of a transversely isotropic material. Imagine that the one direction is the symmetric axis and the properties are shown in this table. Just please note that E3 equals to E1 and Nu13 equals to Nu12 and G13 equals G12 as shown in this table. G23 is also a function of E2 and Nu23. For both orthotropic and transversely isotropic materials we need less constants in plain stress conditions. In this case, we use lamina to define the material constants. In the plane stress conditions these materials need to young moduli in two directions and Poisson ratio and shear modulus in the plane which stresses are applied. G13 and G23 are used to calculate transverse shear stresses in the case of using shell elements. The next way to define an orthotropic or transversely isotropic material is to insert components of stiffness matrix to this table. We can calculate the stiffness matrix components based on engineering constant and vice versa. For defining the transversely isotropic material please note that the blue components are repeated or depend on previous components. The most general form of an elastic material has 21 constants and we can define it by an isotropic option. We need to insert 21 components of the stiffness matrix here. We also use this method to define a monoclinic material. Just please notice that 8 components are zero in this case. Thanks for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and find more videos about FEM simulations.